Hey everybody, my name is Das and welcome to episode 19 of Stone of Life. So we are here in this new area. I, I told you on the last episode I was probably going to explore it, but I actually never did. I just ended up going back to the previous land and just doing dungeons. Um, I th well, I, I haven't really ventured out of this area. I think I went up here and unlocked a dungeon or something, but I didn't play it. I think it was up here to the right. Yeah, that dungeon right there, I just touched it. That was pretty much it. I saw that it went up to the north, so I didn't mess with it. So, I think we're supposed to go north, I think. So we'll head that way and see. So this is the curse land. Yeah, in here. <clears throat> Alright, so there's Leonard. There is the freaking dude who killed Monica. You're the one who destroyed the Stone of Life fragment. How did you find out about this place? So you're the one who killed Monica. Hmm. So the little girl told you before she died, eh? She had to pay the cost for standing in my way all this time. You stop right there. I've prepared a small present for you. Don't try to play with me. Let's just get this over with right here, you and me. Get it over with, eh? If you can break through the seal, I'll be glad to accept that offer. Even if you have the spirit gate inside your body, you won't be able to enter the sanctum protected by the three... Uh, I couldn't read the bottom. And even if you do, even if you break the seal, the power of the Stone of Life shall be mine by then. Ha ha ha. What? Leonard disappeared. It seems to be blocked by a powerful force of some sort. Three seals? Oh, okay, so that's what he said. Three seals. That could mean there are three seals hidden around Curseland. Then I'd better search west of Curseland to find what's there. Alright, that's one quest done. Earth seal. Oh, three seals, so it's probably going to be like earth, fire, and water, or earth, fire, wind, or something like that. Activate the earth seal from the earth shrine at the west. Okay. So we go back out. I'm going to save it. Alright, guys. Um, so we are back. And I had to cut the video there because I went up. And I uh, tried, attempted the next quest, and I was nowhere near ready. So as you can see by my level, I'm now level 69, and we're using this Warhammer that's 913-1015, uh, and it has 80, 83 water damage and a good critical rate, and it does extra damage against undead. <clears throat> that's the Warhammer that we were using before. <coughs> I kept it um, just in case... Um, you know, we run against an enemy that's actually weak against fire. So we're going to be using water damage for the rest of this video. I was just going to... I could have just done a lazy video, cut it off, and just said we'll get them tomorrow. But uh, I want to start... Well, I want to start giving you guys better content, better videos. And I want to start putting more effort into doing better on these videos. So this weapon does anywhere from 15 to sometimes upwards of 1900 damage so it's uh, got a good range and um, just to give you guys a little idea of how long I spent leveling up it took about 40 minutes per level so from the beginning of the video till now you could imagine it took a little while also uh, I uh, increased my um, resistance to all of the elements especially earth so I have like a high um, a really really high uh, resistance to earth right now so hopefully that'll get us through this quest and also the main reason why I'm leveled up is because I went back and I did that first dungeon that I showed you that's actually the key to uh, getting strong enough to do this quest is to actually just spam the life out of that dungeon. Uh, it is actually beatable. I have finished it every time, but it's nothing but mages. The whole or wizards. The whole level is nothing but uh, wizards. So it'll definitely train you uh, against the elements. So that's why I knew I needed to increase my element resist. Now we're actually higher level than them, so 
when I first attempted this, we were kind of the underdogs and uh, it didn't work out well. Also, I increased my respiration to level 10 now, so uh, this fills up my health pretty quickly. I don't like to make cuts like that, but I kind of knew what I was getting into when I decided to take a day off and be lazy and go hang out with friends and stuff. I kind of knew I would come back to recording and something would happen. But it was a good day off, so I'm not going to complain. I'm really glad that we're doing this much damage now. That's a big step up, really. But we have to continue pushing ourselves forward. Um, obviously, for the next video, I'm going to be way more prepared than I was tonight. Uh, tonight, I kind of just went at it blind, and I was low level, and it cost me. Uh, next time, I'm definitely going to be a little bit more prepared for the enemy. And ideally, when it comes to quests, uh, like actual main story quests, you want to be higher level than the enemies in the, in the dungeons. And when you go back and you run regular dungeons, it's actually best to go up against stronger opponents. But in the, in the actual story quests, uh, you want to be more powerful. You want to be overpowering just a little bit. Or at least you want to have a really good resistance or something. You gotta have something because... It's never a fair fight in the main story quests. It's always very difficult. <sighs> Alright, uh, we have to get through this. I forgot about that. But there's no time limit, so that's okay. There we go. It's about time I got a critical with the Warhammer, because it does have a critical rate of 8%, which is actually pretty high. That should be like a critical within every 5 hits. Or something like that. Sometimes it's more often than others. Alright, got an epic, uh, I think it was armor there. Gonna let myself build up a little bit. I did rack up on some potions, so I'll go ahead and use those to speed it up some. <clears throat> but ideally, I never really use potions. Oh yeah, and I didn't really fully explain my tip on that one video. Uh, for your MP and all that to, uh, to increase while you're standing still, you've got to um, use spirit gems and stuff like that and uh, actually um, socket your armor with it so it's not like just anybody can stand still and slowly gain it you have to use uh, spirit gems for the uh, for MP and you have to use life gems for HP and then I think there's a spell to increase your shield faster but I don't really worry about shield that much The annoying part is always these towers. Wow, I was murdering him with criticals. Seems like there's always another one. Alright. Time to heal up some. Now that my uh, respiration is maxed out, my health goes up at a much better rate. Let's just go ahead and spam these turrets. And I am getting this one out of the way now. 
so that when I go down there to face that other one, I'm not getting shot in the back because that did not go well for me last time. Looks like we have another earth golem down there too. Those earth golems actually look pretty cool. I like them, but I really hate the wizards. One more hit. And I mean, it does give me 4,000 experience, so that's awesome. I know this is going to take a little while, but I want to be thorough. I want to kill all the turrets. And I've got to rebuild my gold because I've spent a lot of gold recently on like potions and stuff like that. So I definitely have to spend a little bit of time on getting gold back up. I'd like to get back up to above 100,000. I think I'm at like 80 something thousand right now. Time to heal up again. Those turrets of course always do a lot of damage. Which, of course, if my dodging was better, I wouldn't have to worry about so much damage. When it comes to uh, enemies who use projectiles, such as, like, magic attacks, um, you know, it's really helpful to have um, really good skills when it comes to dodging. Try to kill this one without taking any damage. Now oh, it's starting to fight back a bit now. There we go. I've gotten a lot of items too, so that's helpful. Yeah, we're hurting a little bit. Let's go ahead and use one potion of each just to kind of keep the video going and me just not standing in one spot. So I'm pretty much just moving around building up my special attack because that's really going to help me here. And I have to get rid of as many wizards as I can. And you just need to keep your distance from that big golem because when they hit, they hurt really badly. Alright, that wizard's out of the way. I'd like to get a critical or two on him, but it's not going so hot right now. Even though my critical rate is at 8%, it's just not happening on this guy. There it goes. Almost dead. My special attack is built up for the next one. Didn't have to use it on the first one. Wow, I'm actually hurt. I didn't realize that. Use one of each potion and put up a respiration. Take out this wizard. Alright. So we just have a regular golem and we have one of the huge golems. I'm going to use my special attack on both of them. Really didn't do a whole lot. But... Has some insane HP. Has to have over 20,000 HP at least. 
ideally I was wanting to be uh, level 70 when I came here to do this, but it just got late. I mean, like I said, it was 40 minutes to get one level up, so using that one dungeon, which that's giving an average of 1300 uh, experience per- what? There's another one. Oh my god. This is bad. Maybe I can kill that first one. Yes. Alright, now it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and this is going to be a little bit difficult, but we'll see. We've always been through some tight spots, so... Let's just see what happens. This is a pretty tough quest. Alright, almost. Just a little more. Alright. My inventory is full. Dang. Let me see if I can drop anything. What do I have that I don't really need? That right there I don't need. Any gray common weapons I don't really need. Alright, got a rare and an epic. Let's see where we need to... Okay, so we need to go here next. But I'm a little bit hurt, so I'm going to use one of each potion. And we'll go. I'm not worried about these medium potions. I can buy these chicken anytime. Alright, so this is the fifth room. And my special attack to build up a little more often, to be honest with you. <clears throat> that was a bad mistake. I put I placed uh, two sp um, two mana attacks in the same area. That was not good. Ah, oh, seems like I was beside that, but okay. The main thing I focus on, of course, is the wizards. I don't really care about the golems. There we go. Dang it, I can't pick up any wep or any items because of my inventory. I've just got to keep respiration up at this point. This is going to be a long quest. This is definitely going to be one of those videos that's only two quests. But um, if my memory serves me right, this is like um, quest 31. So uh, we only have about 19 quests left in this game. So... Uh, it's going to be very demanding. I'm going to have to train heavily every day. Um, with it being about 40 minutes every level, I'd like to play about 2 or 3 hours a day, trying to get about um, how many of our levels will, uh, it'll allow me to get in that time. So we'll just see. Probably about 3 or 4 levels a day until I get up to around 100, which is where I think I need to be. Which I've been saying that for several videos. I need to be level 100. To be honest with you, I can't really remember where we came from. So, that's why I'm skeptical about going through that, that doorway I just passed. I don't actually remember how we got in. I'm just going to kill all of them just to be thorough. I think that's where we came in from. So technically I could have probably just ran through this and saved a whole lot of time. <clears throat> but it is what it is. We did it this way instead. Besides, I've I've ran through plenty of dungeons in previous episodes saving time, so I don't mind this video being a few minutes longer. Okay, so this is the actual room that has the earth seal in it, so that's going to be interesting. some potions get a couple of these wizards off my back
even with all of the uh, resistance I have, they still do a lot of damage. I probably need to get my HP up, though. I don't think my HP is really that great. We'll need to look at my skills in a future video and see exactly what number I'm at on everything. At least now it's narrowed down mostly to just golems, and there seems to be some type of boss. So I'm kind of skeptical about that boss, so let me clear out some uh, golems first. That boss is like literally a tree. So, we're going to be cautious about it. Let's start hitting it with fire. Oh, that's a spirit dryad. I actually have one of those. Let's hit it with a special attack. That didn't kill anything? Come on. Yeah, I couldn't pick up any of that because of full inventory. I broke the first seal. Now there are two more left to open the magical barrier. The second seal must be at the north of Cursed Land. Let's go find the second seal. Alright, so that quest is done, and now we're on the water seal. So my water weapon is going to be useless there because they're going to be water enemies. So I'm going to have to get a new weapon with a, uh, a new uh, elemental damage type. Activate the water seal from the water shrine at the north of Cursed Land. We leveled up, we hit level 70, and it looks like I can exit right here. Alright, so we're gonna, I'm gonna head down and, actually I don't know where I'm at, I don't think. Where the heck am I? Let's go this way. <clears throat> I'm not really sure where I'm at. Okay, yeah, so this just leads us back here. So I'm gonna save it right here. I'm gonna head down, sell some of my equipment, and probably call it a night. And I'm gonna train some more tomorrow for our next video. So thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from me in the future, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.